everybody. We're going to be doing some random shopping today. Um, my daughter has her daddy-daughter dance next week. Hi. Hi. So we're going to go to our local consignment shop and um, look for a dress there. And then um, I went to Trader Joe's in forever, probably like six months, maybe even longer. Um, so I just like, kind of had an itch. <laughs> go to Trader Joe's and just see what's new, especially, you know, now for Easter, for the spring, um, just see what's different, you know, change up our menu, um, and then we are going away this weekend to a horse farm, so that's going to be super, super fun, and I need to get a couple of things for that, because we're going to be staying in an RV, and we're going to be taking some of our food with us to cut down on, um, some expenses, you know, eating out, so, um, we have to stop at the store, get some of that, we're going to be baking some cookies to take with us, um, so today's just kind of like a hodgepodge, laundry, packing, all that kind of stuff, fun mom stuff, um, so, just come along with us on our random day. So, after much deliberation, we found a dress. Very, very cute. You like it? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see what else we can find here. Okay, so that was a success. We found a dress and some shoes and, of course, other things. What other things did we find, Natalie? I got it at Toys. You got a Barbie truck? Of course. So now we're off to Trader Joe's and see what else we can find. Oh, they have flowers. You know, I can't resist a flower. But I don't think we're getting any today. But look at how cute. Look at the little tulips. Okay, there are just so many options. It's almost overwhelming, especially when you never get to see this stuff on a regular basis. And it's like you just want to try one of everything. So we're going to have to go down these aisles and see what they have and what we can come out with. And hopefully it won't hurt my pocketbook too much. Okay, so, so far... I have picked up some things for my husband for next week. I start some out-of-town clinical rotations, so he likes this lentil soup. This could be a dinner or a lunch for him. A carnitas salsa verde burrito. Some cheese tortellini. We're gonna take this on our trip. And we got carrots for the horses for our horse farm trip this weekend. Let's see what else we could find. There's just so many choices and so much good stuff here. All right, the best almond butter I have ever had is this creamy almond butter, Trader Joe's brand. Absolutely amazing. It's just got such good taste. It's natural. Ugh, so, so good. Absolutely love this stuff. And I love that they have all of the alternative um, butters also for those with allergies. 
These crackers, these crackers are life. Oh my God. They have uh, just the regular plain ones and then the garlic ones. I am taking two boxes of these because I don't know when I'm coming back to Trader Joe's and oh my God, these things are amazing. already broke into the crackers. These are so amazing. Natalie tried them. Natalie, thumbs up or thumbs down? You don't like them? No. Aw. I love them. They are amazing. You need to try them. Oh my god. Okay. We gotta go to Publix, get a couple of things, and then we're home to prep for our horse farm weekend. So here's our haul from Trader Joe's. I'll go over real quick what we got because I need to get this stuff in the freezer. Um, so we got the Carnitas Salsa Verde Burrito. This will be for my husband for lunch one day. Their uh, lentil soup with ancient grains. This will be for lunch for him one day also. Um, dark chocolate covered strawberries. These are for me. I couldn't pass those up. I have ne never seen those before, so I'm really excited to try these. Um, a burrito bowl, Cuban style burrito bowl. That'll be for him for lunch one day. Um, this is for uh, for dinner one day for us. Linguini with pesto and tomatoes. We've had this before. It's really, really good. Um, this could be for him and the kids one day. Barbecue teriyaki chicken because I won't be here one night. So this will be an easy meal when he comes home from work. It's already fully cooked, so you just have to heat it and serve. And he just needs to make some white rice. Quick, easy dinner for him. Uh, cheese tortellini. One of the nights that he just has to make dinner for himself. The kids can have, you know, like chicken tenders or something. He can make this for himself. Throw some pasta sauce on top. Done. Got these to try. I've never tried these before from Trader Joe's. Uh, pork and vegetable dumplings. And you can steam them or pan fry them. So I'm really excited to try those. I love that. I have had this rice a million times before. It is the best fried rice ever, hands down. Any other brand, nothing beats this. Um, so I got three bags of it because I don't know when I'm going back to Trader Joe's and I can keep it in my freezer outside and uh, throw it together for uh, a quick meal. Got some plantain chips for our trip, some garlic non crackers. I'll take one for our trip. I've already opened one. <laughs> this one will go on the shelf. Some tortilla chips for our trip. This roasted corn, I really, really like a lot, and I've never found roasted corn like this anyplace else. Um, so I got two bags of that, so I can just keep one in the freezer and open one up for us to use. Um, a bag of Honeycrisp apples. I love these small little apples, and Honeycrisp is definitely my favorite. And then the carrots that we got for the horses for our trip to the horse farm. So I was not intending on really buying this much stuff, but when you go to Trader Joe's, you just can't help it. There's always just such new and interesting things that you don't find at other grocery stores. So all of this came out to $64 even, $64 on the dot, um, which isn't bad. You know, I don't mind quite a few meals here. Um, for us, so it's not just you know one-time purchases, one-time things. This will last us for uh, quite a bit of time, stretched out over our different meal planning. And let's see what else we got today. So at Once Upon a Child, we got some Cat and Jack boots, size one. This is the next size up that my daughter wears, and she loves these boots. She wears them all the time. So four dollars and fifty cents. Normally in the store, they're like nineteen ninety nine or twenty four ninety nine. I don't know, but when she grows out of the one she's wearing now, she can put these on. Um, we found these shoes also to go with her dress, the red dress for the daddy-daughter dance, and these were $6.50. So it's great to be able to buy shoes that she's probably going to wear one time and not spend a lot of money on them. So that'll be great. Um, then I got her a couple of things for the summer. Let me see here. Sorry, trying to straighten it out. A tank top. This was two fifty. Another tank top. Um, I don't know what the first one is. This one is Cat and Jack. Another cute little tank top. This was a dollar fifty. Um, some children's place shorts. Excellent condition. You can see that they've 
like hardly been worn, washed, whatever. $5 and 50 cents. Um, pair of Cat and Jack shorts. These are amazing. Also in great, oh, sorry, Wonder Nation. So from Walmart, wonderful condition. They feel like they're brand new, actually. Maybe they've been worn once. I don't know. They didn't have tags, like brand new tags on them, but they feel like they're brand new. Uh, $3.50. And then this is a skirt. Cat and Jack also feels brand new. Does not look worn even once. It looks like somebody ironed it and took it to the store. To be honest, you could tell, you know, this starts to fade when it gets washed. It just looks like it's brand new for $3.50. So, you know, you can't beat these prices for basically brand new clothes that you get even cheaper than Target or Walmart. And then the dress, the dress um, that she'll be wearing for the daddy-daughter dance, and that was $4.50. So a dress that you're gonna wear one time <laughs> with shoes that you're gonna wear one time. So for $11, you got a brand new outfit to wear to her formal dance and she's very excited about that. All right, so that's it for today's video. Um, we just stopped at Publix, got a couple of things for the trip, some pub subs. Um, if you're familiar with Publix, you know pub subs, that's the real deal. Um, just a couple more things for our trip for this weekend, but not much, like literally like three or four things. Um, so thanks for joining me today on this weird running all over town, getting stuff done today. Um, I have about three loads of laundry to fold and then pack a quick bag for our weekend. So I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching our video and I'll see you next time. Bye.